गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर सेकेंड क्लास ऑफ नेटिंग सो इन दिस क्लास वी विल ट्राई टू ड्रॉ सम स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड अंडरस्टैंड देम लेट्स लुक एट अ लूप फर्स्ट वॉट वॉज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ नेटिंग वी सेड नेटिंग इज डिफाइंड एज इंटलूपिंग ऑफ यान एंड वी सेड दैट इन ईच लूप दिस दैट मच अमाउंट ऑफ यान विच कैन बी डिसप्लेस दैट्स वाई नेटेड फैब्रिक्स हैव अ लॉट ऑफ स्ट्रेच If you look at a face loop, what is happening is the arms are going over the head, and if you look at a reverse loop, you find that the arms are plated underneath the head. So in a face loop, you can see the arms are more prominent, and in a reverse loop, you can see that the heads are more prominent because the arms are going at the back. In the last class also i had explained you a latch needle if you see a latch needle here the latch needles are all in one row here which means that the loops are also going to be pulled in only one row let's see how can we draw a loop take out a pen and a pencil and a paper draw two dots draw two dots which are close to each other join the dots and draw the feet first and draw the head let's label it that's the head these are the two arms and these are the two feet okay let's go go over it once again we said it's got a head on top it's got two arms and it's got two feet so we say what is the grain of the fabric the grain of the fabric is the technical upright position of the loop what does this mean this means the technical upright position of a fabric is where the arms are going upwards like the english letter v and the loop is standing on its feet and the head is on top so always whenever you take a fabric you will see the loops first and see that the arms are going upwards so this is the technical upright position of a fabric and we say this is the grain of the fabric and how do we represent it we will always put a straight line and a arrow on top one arrow like for example in your woven fabrics you will put two arrows because the the warp is in this direction the warp is straight like this so whether i hold the fabric in this direction or this direction it will not make a difference but here you put one arrow because you want the arms to go upwards so all garments when you see and take hold of your some garments from your wardrobe and see how the arms are going upwards in your garment so let's see what is a single jersey fabric and let's draw one single jersey structure it is also abbreviated as sj and sometimes in the industry it's also referred to as a sinker fabric this is one of the very basic fabrics and your wardrobe will have 70% of the shirts or t-shirts what you have will be single jersey and a single jersey fabric actually has a technical face and a technical back so this is the only fabric which has a face and it has a back and the face is different and the technical back is different so let's draw four heads first let's draw the back first because it's easier for you to draw the back this is the back draw it with me okay 
Hope you have finished. Let's draw the feet without touching the heads. See how I am drawing it. See, it's not touching the head. Draw it slowly. Draw the arms without touching the heads. See, this is one yarn. So make sure that when you are drawing the loop, it should look like one loop complete. This is the yarn. How it's going. Each loop should take its shape. That's why I'm drawing it with the feet also. Okay, let's complete the one on top also. Alright. So what is your observation here? Your observation is you get an illusion that the arms are all going under the heads. Can you see that how beautiful it is looking? Okay. I hope Everybody has drawn this with me. So let's see what is a course. What was the definition of a course? We said a course is a row of loops knitted by adjacent needles. I've shown you in the previous um slide i've shown you how the needles are very close to each other a course is a row of loops knitted by adjacent needles during the same knitting cycle i'd explain this in hand knitting also when you knit all the loops on the needle on the hand knitting needles it makes one course so as many number of loops that many number of dots you have to draw let's see stitch notation what is a stitch notation stitch notation is the movement of a yarn on the needle so you have four loops so you have four dots okay let's see what is a veil? A veil is a column of loops. A veil is a column of loops. Knitted by the same needle during successive knitting cycles. Which means that this loop will always be knitted by this needle. This column of loops will always be knitted by this needle. So how many veils do I have? I have one, two, three. 3, 4 wheels. And how many courses do I have? 1 row, 2 row, 3 row, 4 row. How will I count them? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, let's repeat this. You have wheels which are columns and you have courses which are your rows. So, how do I do count my wheels? 1, 2, 3, 4. How do I count my courses? 1, 2 course. 3 row and 4. So courses will, if I put some more courses, courses will decide the length of a fabric. So if I put some more courses, the length will increase. If I put some more veils, then the width of the fabric will increase. Let's repeat this. Courses will decide the length of a fabric. Veils will decide the width of a fabric. Okay. So when we want to draw stitch notations for the technical back, so what we have to do is we have to put the loops in the upward direction. See how I am doing it slowly and please draw it with me everybody. So 
as many number of courses that many number of stitch notations you should draw so how many courses do i have one two three four so i'm going to draw four like this okay let's draw the technical face draw the arms and a slight over when you finish it it should look like a fabric let's draw the heads without touching the arms see how i am doing it understood the shape of the loop has already started appearing Preferably draw it with a pencil so that you can erase it if you go wrong. All right, so let's complete this loop on top. All right, let's draw the feet without touching the arms. See how I'm doing it. Can you see how the yarn is making one course? This is one single yarn. Next course. So every loop on the machine is knitted by a separate needle. As many number of loops, that many number of needles you need to have. Okay, so let's look at the stitch notation for this. How many whales do I have? I have one, two, three, four whales. How many courses I have? One, two, three. In fact, this is a half, right? So this is a half course. So this is for the needles. So it should go in the downward direction face loop so this is showing as a face loop because the arms are going over the heads right so that's the technical face and that's the technical back this is the face loop and this is the reverse loop this is the back loop so this when it knits like this, this is called a knit stitch. It's called a knit stitch. This is called a purl stitch. 